Okay mga kawamot, in this video we will discuss solving problems involving sides and angles of a polygon. In this video, we will solve problems involving sides and angles of a polygon. So dapat po, I advise you na panoorin muna yung ating uh, discussion and tutorial about the interior and exterior angles of a polygon. Because some of the examples and concepts there ay magagamit po natin dito sa pag-solve po ng ating problems. So, panoorin po muna ang ating video na naka-flash po sa ating mga screen. So, let us recall the sum of the interior and exterior angles of a polygon. So, this is only the measure of each interior angle is only applicable for regular polygons. Okay? So, always remember that the measure of each interior angle are all congruent and the measure of each exterior angles are all congruent when your polygon is a regular polygon. So, tatandaan po natin that all interior angles are congruent and all exterior angles of, are congruent if it is a regular polygon. So, I have here a table of the number of sides. So, ito po yung madalas ginagamit natin when we are solving uh, sides and angles of a polygon. So, alam ko, familiar na kayo dito sa triangle quadrilateral. So, we have these sides, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then, for our, for our numbers of triangles form, so you just have to subtract it by uh, subtract 2 from the number of sides, which is your n. And then, for us to get the sum of interior angles, you have to multiply the number of triangle form times 180 degrees. So, this is the sum of interior angles. Para malaman natin kung... Ano ang measure ng bawat isang interior angle if it is a regular polygon? Natin yung sa number of sides. That's why ito po yung ating formula. After getting the sum of interior angles, divide n which is the number of sides. So we have this. So this is the measure of each interior angle of a triangle, of a quadrilateral, and so on. And then for the measure of each ex exterior angle, paano ba ito kinukuha? If uh, the interior and exterior angle of a regular poly polygon is on the same vertex, pareho po sila ng vertex, then the sum of their measures must be 180. So, kapag ang interior mo at yung exterior angle ay nasa isang vertex, or in other words, adjacent sila, dapat po ang kanilang uh, sum ng angles po nila ay 180. So, para makuha po yung exterior angle, Ima minus lang po natin sa 180, ito pong ating measure of each interior angle. That's why we have this. Okay? Tatandaan po na kapag regular polygon, all the interior angles are congruent. Also, it's exterior angles. So, hindi ko na po uulitin kung paano nakuha. Uh, nadbanggit at na-discuss na po ito sa interior and exterior angles of a polygon sa ating previous tutorial. So, let us start. So, name all the exterior angles. So, what are the exterior angles of uh, the given figure? So, pag sinabi natin exterior angles, ito po yung mga adjacent and supplementary sila sa interior angle. So, kung ito po yung interior angle, ito po yung kanyang exterior, also this one. So, we have angle 5, angle 7, angle 6, angle 8, angle 4, and angle 12. So, these are all the exterior angles of the given figure. Name all the interior angles. When we say interior, ito yung nasa loob. So, we have angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3. For our remote interior angles, so since binigay dito, inti uh, remote interior ni angle 5. So, when we say remote interior, ito yung uh, dalawang interior angles na hindi adjacent sa kanya. So, kung si angle 5, ano yung dalawang interior angles? So, meron lang naman tayong tatlong interior dyan. Yung hindi adjacent sa kanya. So, we have angle 2 and angle 3. What is the adjacent interior angle to angle 4? This is your angle 4. So, ano po yung adjacent interior angle niya? We have angle 3. How are we going to find the measure of angle 2? This is your angle 2. So, paano natin siya makukuha? Tatandaan na para makuha natin ang measure nito, 
Ito po, si angle 1 and angle 2 ay remote interior po ni angle 12. And the measure of angle 12 is 125 degrees. Ano pong relationship nitong angle 12 natin dito sa dalawang remote interior? The exterior angle is always equal to the sum of your remote interior. So, dapat ito si 125 degrees, equal siya sa sum nitong dalawang interior, remote interior niya. So, kung ito ay 68, ano dapat si angle 2 para maging 125 degrees? So, ima-minus lang natin si 68 sa 125 and that is 57 degrees. Next, Angle 7. So, the measure of angle 7, ito po ang ating 7. Since this is um, this is an exterior angle of your interior angle 1. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, they must be supplementary. Linear pair po yan. Adjacent sila. So, imam, dapat ang sum niyan, 180. So, 180 minus 68, that is 112. Next. The measure of angle 3, this is your angle 3. So, paano natin kukunin? They are supplementary. Linear pair po ito. So, 180 minus 125, that is 55. For us to get the measure of angle 4, these two exterior angles are vertical angles. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung 125 ito, your angle 4 is also 125 degrees. The measure of angle 8. So, ito po ay nakuha natin kanina. This is 57 degrees. So, kung 57, 180 minus 57, that is 123 degrees. And then, for the measure of angle 9, they are vertical angles. So, therefore, your angle 9 is also 68. Next, calculate the measure of each lettered angle. So, para makuha natin yung measure po ng lettered angle natin, dapat alam muna natin kung ano yung sum ng interior. Ano ba dapat yung sa total, okay? total measure ng angles, yun po yung sum, ng limang angles na to. So, paano natin makukuha yon So, dapat alam natin kung anong polygon ito. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, since 5 side siya, so using the formula, dapat ang sum ng interior angles nitong figure na to ay 540 degrees ng total ng angles niyan. Okay, so hindi na po natin i-discuss ito ng detalyado dahil ito po ay na-discuss na sa mga previous tutorial. So, dapat ang sum niya ay 540. Now, kung 540, dapat pag in natin ito si A, yung A mo, plus 83, plus dalawang 90, this is 90 degrees, itong dalawa, plus 130, pag inad mo itong lima, dapat 540. So, let us solve for A. So, add natin, that is 393 po ito lahat, equals 540 minus 393. So, that is, A is equal to 147 degrees. So, therefore, your A is 147 degrees. Now, since your B is the exterior angle of A, so, paano natin makukuha? So, kung exterior siya at uh, same vertex sila, ibig sabihin 180 po dapat yan. So, dapat ang sum nila 180. So, para makuha natin si B, ima-minus lang po natin si 180 minus 147. So, therefore, your B is 33 degrees. Next, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is a quadrilateral, so 4 sides. So the sum must be 360. The sum of the interior angles must be 360. So pag in po natin itong apat na angles na to, pa 360. So paano natin kukunin? Now since si C, ito po, since meron tayong thick lines dito, single na thick line, ibig sabihin, kapareho siya nito, congruent yan. So, ibig sabihin, in other words, meron tayong dalawang C. Okay? Ito naman, pareho silang may dalawang thick line. So, ibig sabihin, ito po ay 84 degrees din. So, pag tinotal natin tong apat, dapat 360 po siya. So, i-add natin, since congruent nga po ito dito, dalawa pong C meron tayo. 
plus dalawa rin pong 84 degrees, so times 2 natin yan, is equal to 360. So 2C plus 84 times 2, that is 168, is equal to 360. Equate na, I mean, transpose natin si minus 168. So ayan po siya. So that is 192. So divide both sides by 2. Ang makukuha natin, 192 divide 2, that is 96 degrees. So our C is 96 degrees. Okay, so therefore, kung 96 ito, 96 din po ito. Now, makukuha na natin to kasi same vertex sila. Ibig sabihin, adjacent, 180 po dapat yan. So, minus lang po natin si 180 kay 96. Dapat pag in natin si 96 at si D, 180 po yan. So, D is equal to 180 minus 96. Your D is 84 degrees. Next, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have an, a hexagon. So, we have 6 sides. So, kung 6 sides siya, dapat ang sum of interior angles niyan ay 720. Now, i-add natin itong lahat ng angles niya, including angle S. So, dapat ang total ay 720. So, total natin ito. That is... 595 degrees is equal to 720. Transpose natin. That will become 720 minus 595. S is equal to 125 degrees. So, if this is 125 degrees, since it, angle T ay same vertex ng angle S, so, ibig sabihin, they are uh, linear pair, so, supplementary po yan. So, minus lang po natin siya sa 180. So, 180 minus 125. So, therefore, your angle T is 55 degrees. Next. So, I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have 7 sides. And that is 900. So, the sum of the interior angles of the given, the, since 7 sides ito, he, heptagon po ito. So, dapat 900 po yan. Now, uh, kaya ganun po palagi, yun po palagi ang una natin gagawin, bilangin po yung sides para alam natin kung anong polygon siya, para alam natin kung ilan ng sum dapat ng interior angles niyan. So, we have 900. So, kung 900 po siya, dapat ang total po ng lahat ng angles dito sa loob ay 900. Okay? Now, since meron tayong thick lines dito na pare-pareho, ibig sabihin, itong thick lines natin ang nagsasabi na lahat ng angles ay congruent. So, ano pong gagawin natin? Ibig sabihin, pare-pareho ng sukat yan. So, ibig sabihin, regular polygon po ito. So, ano pong gagawin natin? Yung 900, i-divide po natin siya sa 7, sa number of sides. Okay? Dun sa number of angles niya, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Kasi since equal po lahat ng angles niyan, hahati-hatiin po natin siya by 7, yung sum ng interior angles. So, 900 divided by 7, that is 128.57 degrees. So, niround off ko na po siya sa 2 decimal places. So, 128.57 Degrees. So, kung ito po ay 128.57 degrees and si angle M mo ay same vertex po nito. So, ibig sabihin 180 po dapat siya. So, iba minus lang po natin. 180 minus 128.57. So, therefore, this is 51.43 degrees. Find the measure of all the interior angles of a pentagon. So, this is a pentagon with five sides. One, two, three, four, five. So, that's why it's a pentagon. So, paano natin makukuha kapag ganito? Meron na siyang unknown. So, uh, dapat alam po muna natin ang interior angles po niyan. And that is 540. Okay? So, ano pong gagawin? Dapat pag in po natin lahat ito. So, add natin lahat. Ang total po dapat ay 540. So, ang una po natin gagawin, 
is we need to find the value of x. Pag nakuha natin yung value ng x, isa substitute po natin dito sa lahat ng unknowns natin sa bawat angles para makuha natin yung measure po ng bawat angles. So, solve for x tayo. So, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 5, that is 13, plus 8, so that is 21, plus 4, so that is 25x. And then, add all the constants, so that is 40 is equal to 540. So, 25x is equal to 540 minus, transpose natin ito, minus 40. So, we have 25x is equal to 500. And 500 divided by 25, divide both sides by 25. So, your x is 20. Okay, so, isa substitute po natin siya sa lahat. 5 times 20, 100 plus 2, this is 102 degrees. 3 times 20, 60 plus 5, 65 degrees. 8 times 20 is 160 plus 8, 168 degrees. 5 times 20 is 100 plus 10, 110 degrees. Okay, sorry. And then 4 times 20, 80 plus 15, that is 95 degrees. So, pag in po natin lahat yan, 102 degrees plus 65 degrees plus 168 degrees and 95 degrees, and 110 degrees ang total po niyan is 500 which is the total sum of a, uh, the sum of interior angles of a pentagon. The sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So always remember that. Now, given this figure, so this is a four-sided polygon, so this is a quadrilateral. Paano po natin makukuha itong ano natin na x at y? Okay, so uh, this is a quadrilateral MINE. So para makuha natin ito, tatandaan na kapag meron po tayong rectangle, all right angles po yan. So lahat ng angles po yan ay congruent. So, kung eh, lahat ng angles po niyan ay uh, right angles, so 90 degrees po dapat yan, ibig sabihin dapat pag in natin si Y at si 63, mag-equal siya sa 90. So, dapat um, mag-equal siya sa 90 kasi po all right angles po ang meron tayo sa rectangle. Okay? So, we have Y is equal to 90 minus 63, that is... 27 degrees. So, therefore, your Y here is 27 degrees. Now, paano natin makukuha itong X? Para makuha natin itong X, you may apply the concept of parallel lines cut by transversal. So, ito pong dalawang ito, ano pong relationship nila? Si X at si Y. Sila po ay alternate interior angles. Ito po yung parallel lines natin dyan, yung sides ng ating rectangle. So, ito pong dalawa ay alternate interior angles and we all know that uh, when the parallel lines cut by transversal, its alternate interior angles are congruent. Right? So, kung ang Y natin ay 27 degrees, ibig sabihin ang X mo is also 27 degrees. Next. I have here quadrilateral ABCD, which is an isosceles trapezoid. So, given a triangle, which is isosceles, I mean, uh, quadrilateral, which is isosceles trapezoid, paano po natin makukuha ang kanyang mga angles? So, kapag isosceles po ang ating given, kahit pa triangle yan o kahit pa trapezoid yan, basta isosceles, automatic yung two sides po niyan ay congruent. And um, uh, applying the concept of isosceles triangle theorem that uh, if two sides are congruent, then the angles opposite those sides are also congruent. Okay? So, we have, kung ito ay 3x, ibig sabihin, this is also 3x. Okay? So, base angles are Congruent. Yun rin po ang concept ng isosceles. Base angles are congruent. So, 3x din po yan. And this is also 6x. So, para makuha natin ito, dapat po 360 ang sum of interior angles niyan. So, i-add lang po natin lahat. 3x plus 3x plus 6x plus 6x is equal to 360. 
So, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 6, 18x. Is equal to 360. Divide both sides by 18. So, 360 divide 18. That is 20. So, i-substitute po natin siya. 3 times 20, this is 60. So, this is also 60. 6 times 20 is 120. So, this is also 120. So, we have this. Pag in natin to lahat, 60 plus 60, 120, plus 120 plus 120, the total is 360. A pentagon has sides 18 centimeters, 19 centimeters, and 20 centimeters. If the other two sides are congruent and the perimeter of the pentagon is 97 centimeters, what are the measures of the other two sides? So we all know that a pentagon has five sides. Okay, so may, ang pentagon po ay meron pong five sides. So given yung tatlo, so we have 18, 19, and 20. So, we have five sides of the given uh, polygon. Given the measure, so sorry, it should be 17, 18. So, 17, 18, and 20. Ang pinapahanap sa atin ay yung dalawang sides, measures pa po ng dalawang sides natin, na kung saan ay congruent. So, that's why we have these thick lines. Okay? So, para makuha natin, ang measure ng dalawang sides na to na congruent, so, we will have the measure of your first side, second side, and third side. And then, yung side po nung dalawang missing. So, since dalawa silang congruent, so, nilagay natin twice S. Okay? Is equal to 97 since yun po ang total na perimeter. So, we have 17 plus 18 plus 20 plus 2S is equal to 97. So, this is 55. And then, plus 2S is equal to 97. Transpose natin si 55, that is minus 55. So, your 2S is equal to 42. So, by dividing both sides by 2, 42 divide 2, your S is equal to 21. So, therefore, this is 21 centimeters. At, at, at since sabi dito congruent nga sila, this is also 21 centimeters. So, pag in po natin siya, 20 plus uh, 21 plus 21 plus 17 plus 18, the total is 97 centimeters. And that is the perimeter of the given pentagon. Next, in triangle ABC, the measure of angle A is equal to x plus 40. The measure of angle B is 3x minus 10 and angle C is x plus 15. So we are asked to find the measures of all the angles. So how are we going to find the measures of all the angles? So we must know first the sum of the interior angles. So dapat yun muna ang alam natin. So for the triangle, it should be 180 degrees. So, pag in natin itong tatlo na to, dapat 180 degrees. Pero, paano natin i-add? E, wala, hindi given ng measure. So, ang una natin gagawin, solve for x. Hanapin muna natin yung unknown. So, add natin lahat, x plus 40, si x plus 15, at si 3x minus 10. Is equal to 180, since ito po ang total ng kanyang interior angles. So, we have 1, 2, this is 5x. 5x, so 40 plus 15, 55. Minus 10, that is 45, is equal to 180. So 5x is equal to 180 minus 45. So 5x is equal to 135. Okay? So we have 135 divided 5, that is x is equal to 27. So your x is equal to 27. So, i-substitute natin siya sa lahat ng angles natin. Kasi, ang pinapahanap yung measure po ng lahat ng angles. So, the measure of angle A is equal to x plus 40. Substitute natin si 27 dun sa x plus 40. So, that is the measure of angle A is 67. For the measure of angle B, we have 3x minus 10. So, 3 times 27 minus 10. 
27 times 3 is 81 minus 10, that is 71. So the measure of angle B is 71 degrees. For the measure of angle C, we have X plus 15. Substitute natin dito si 27 plus 15, that is 30, 42. So the measure of angle C is 42 degrees. 3 angles of a pentagon are 115, 125, and 135. Find the other 2 angles in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So ito po yung ating pentagon. So we have 5 sides of a pentagon. So therefore, we also have 5 angles. So given yung measure po ng 3 angles natin. So ang pinapahanap sa atin ay ito at ito. So paano natin siya makukuha? Dapat alam muna natin ang sum of interior angles. So Kailangan alam natin to kasi ito po ang um, pinaka dapat alam natin kung paano kunin para mag-solve po ng mga ganitong uh, problems. Okay? So, for the sum of interior angles of a pentagon, we have 540 degrees. So, para makuha natin, uh, since nasa ratio po siya ng 2 is to 3, so let us represent the measure of these two missing angles etong hinahanap natin as 2x and 3x. Okay? So, let us represent the uh, the other two angles as 2x and 3x since nasa ratio siya ng 2 is to 3. So, pag in natin to lahat, dapat add natin 2x plus 3x plus 115 plus, plus 125 plus 135, dapat po ang total is 540. So, this is 5x. 5x is equal to 375. So, ito po ay 375 is equal to 540 minus 375. That is 165. And 165 divided by 5x, divide both sides by 5. So, that is x is equal to 33 degrees. So, kung ang x po natin ay 33 degrees, Ibig sabihin, isubstitute lang po natin siya dito sa 2x at sa 3x natin. So, magiging 2 times 33, that is 66. And then, 3. Kasi 3x ito, 3 times 33, that is 99. Next. The measure of one interior angle of a regular polygon is 60 degrees more than twice the measure of an exterior angle at the same vertex. How many sides does, it, does this polygon have? So, dito ang kukunin naman natin is paano natin malalaman yung number of sides ng uh, polygon natin given itong kanyang interior angle. Okay? So, tatandaan na since given po dito, binanggit dito na regular polygon siya, ibig sabihin, all of its interior angles are congruent, also its exterior angles. So, binanggit dito na regular, kagaya ng sabi ko kanina, kapag regular po, lahat ng interior niyan at exterior angles niyan congruent. Okay? So, I-represent muna natin yung given. So, since uh, binigay sa atin yung exterior, ang, ang given natin ay yung interior at exterior angle, so let us represent the exterior angle as X. Kasi ang sabi, yung interior angle mo daw is 60 degrees more than twice the measure of an exterior angle. Eh, hindi natin alam kung ano yung exterior angle. So, i-represent natin siya as X. Now, I-translate natin ito, 60 degrees more than twice. So, twice the measure of exterior angle, so ibig sabihin 2x. Okay? And then, 60 degrees more than, mas mataas siya ng 60 degrees. So, ibig sabihin that is 2x plus 60. 60 degrees more than twice the measure of your exterior angle. So, ni-represent natin ang exterior angle natin as x. So, ang pinapahanap, how many sides does this polygon have? So, paano natin kukunin? Since same vertex po, binanggit dito na same vertex po yung exterior at interior angle natin. At uh, wala namang problema kung equate natin siya into 180 kasi regular polygon ito. So, 
Dapat, pag inad natin si x, yung exterior angle, at yung interior angle niya na 2x plus 60, dapat ang total niyan 180. Kasi, same vertex sila. So, kung same vertex, ibig sabihin adjacent yan. So, 1 plus 2, that is 3x plus 60, is equal to 180. So, 3x is equal to 180 minus 60. So, 3x is equal to 120. By dividing both sides by 3, your x is equal to 40. So, your x is equal to 40, isubstitute natin siya dito. So, therefore, your exterior angle is 40. And then, your interior angle, isubstitute natin siya sa 2x plus 60. So, that is 2 times 40, since yun yung x natin. Plus 60, so 2 times 40 is 80. Plus 60, 140. Now, natatapos na po ba dito? Pwede nyo pong i-check. Kung ang exterior angle mo ay 40, and dapat daw ang interior angle is 60 degrees more than twice. So, i-times natin to sa 2. 40 times 2 is 80. E mas mataas daw ng 60. So, 80 plus 60, 100. 40. Now, paano natin makukuha yung kanyang sides? Anong polygon ito na merong ganitong exterior angle at interior angle? So, gagamitin natin yung formula ng um, the, uh, finding the measure of each interior angle. So, pag hinahanap natin yung measure ng interior angle, each interior angle, ito po yung ginagamit natin. Okay? But since given na siya, e eh, i-equate natin siya by 140. So, nakuha mo na yung interior angle niya, which is 140. So, we have cross multiply. So, 180 times n, 180n. 180 times negative 2 minus 360 is equal to 140 times n, 140n. So, transpose natin ito, magiging minus 140n. Transpose din natin ito, magiging plus positive 360. So, this is 40n is equal to 360. 360 divide 40, your n is equal to 9. So, your n is equal to 9. So, anong polygon po ito? So, ang polygon po natin ay merong 9 sides at ito po ay nonagon. The measure of one angle of a parallelogram is 20 more than 3 times the next consecutive angle. What are the measures of the angles of the parallelogram? So, kapag um, parallelogram po ang given natin, ito po yung itsura niyan. Okay? Yung parang nakapahilis na figure. So, kapag meron po tayong parallelogram, ang consecutive angles yan ay supplementary. So, gamitin natin itong proper, isa sa mga properties ng parallelogram na consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary since ang given ay angle. So, gamitin natin ito. So, sabi, um, ang consecutive angle represent natin as x. Kasi sabi, ang measure daw ng isang angle ay 20 more than 3 times the next consecutive angle. Eh, hindi naman natin alam kung ano yung consecutive angle. So, represent natin siya as x. So, para makuha natin yung first angle, so yung isa sa mga angle niya, one angle, is 20 more than 3 times. So, 3x, ibig sabihin. 3x, kasi 3 times the next consecutive angle. And then, 20. Mas mataas siya ng 20. So, 3x plus 20. So, sabi dito, consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. So, pag in natin ito, dapat 180. So, add natin, that is 4x plus 20 is equal to 180. This is 4x is equal to 180 minus 20. So, 4x is equal to 160. By dividing both sides by 4, 160 divide 4, so that is x is equal to 40. So, ibig sabihin, your consecutive angle, that is 40. Substitute natin dito yung 40, 3 times 40, 120, plus 20, that is 140. So, pag chinek natin, sabi kanina, 3 times the next consecutive angle. So, 40 times 3 is 120. 20 daw, mas mataas siya ng 20. So, 120 plus 20, 140. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.